Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. I am really excited to bring you a fish store tour. It's been a while since we've done one. This one is rather close to my heart because it is a fish store I have been going to for a very long time. They've done a lot of work at this fish store. This is Trop Aquatics. It's located in Lombard, Illinois. I will put their information down in the description below. I highly recommend if you're in the area, check them out. You're going to see a lot of cool fish. There were a few fish there I had never seen before. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. So this is Trap Aquatics in Lombard, Illinois. This is what you see when you first walk in the door. It is a fish store that has all the hard goods you would expect and a lot of fish. There's a fish room in the back there that we're going to get to here pretty soon. But they have just about everything you could ever want for your fish keeping hobby, including tanks for sale. And I wanted to show you something because we get this question a lot. Here's a couple 40 gallon longs. They're kind of like the 33 longs that we have, but a lot of local fish stores can order them. This is the tanks when you walk right into the door. And this is the room in the back. This is one of the aisles that we're going to be looking at. And the other large aisle is right behind it. And we're gonna be checking out some really cool fish in this tank or in this aisle as well. They do have a saltwater section. We're not really gonna cover that because we're a freshwater channel. This was a really cool display. I love this thing. There was tons of rainbow fish, very nicely planted. Some really cool epistos in here as well. In this fish store, it really holds a, a special place in my heart. I've been coming here for many, many years. And the person who owns it now has put a tremendous amount of work into this store to get it to where it is today. And it really looks great. I promise you, as we go through this fish store tour, you're gonna see some things you haven't seen before, at least one or two types of fish, possibly more, because they had a lot of unusual fish here. Not only did they have rainbows in that cool display tank, but they had them for sale as well. Love this red rainbow here. They also had a nice selection of plants, healthy looking, every color you could want in a freshwater plant, really good selection. Love the cleanliness of these tanks. Love the fish. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now in this aisle, there are mostly cichlids, but I promise you there are fish for everyone at this pet store. They've got South and Central American cichlids, African cichlids here. We have some imbunas in this tank, which are a really fun fish to keep. A lot of Lake Tanganyikan fish. I don't remember the species of this one, I'm sorry. They had Synodonis cats, which are a really good catfish to keep with African cichlids because they get along fairly well and they do well because they have the same general water parameters. This was a fish I hadn't seen and these Kendall eye were really interesting to watch, really good shape, very healthy looking. A lot of people ask in the Chicagoland area where you can get shell dwellers. I know they can be a little bit hard to find, they had them here, a couple varieties. This looks like gold ocelotus. They had others as well as we're gonna see coming up, but they were in fantastic shape. Here we have some multis. So if those of you who are familiar with the channel, we've got our Neolamprologus multifasciatus 50 gallon low boy. The little guys in here are the multis that you would see in, that, in our 50 gallon low boy. They had a mixed in with other Lake Tanganyikan fish as well. And I, again, I don't have the name of these. The best way, if you want to know what the name is, if you're in the area, check them out. Lots of other Lake Tanganyikan fish as well. These were a Brichardi type. I don't know the variety on these, but really cool fish coming up here. And that is the Nanochromus nudiceps. This is cool. We've got a Nanochromus in our fish room that I really enjoy. And they also had these Neolamprologus from Lake Tanganyika that were really cool. Of course, they had some Oscars. This was a medium-sized Oscar. Looked like he wanted to find a new home, and they had the babies as well. This is, by the way, where we got our Oscars way back in the day. We did a species profile on the Sahika cichlids. Really pretty fish. Here we've got the banded chromide. This is an interesting fish, one I haven't seen around in a while, at least for sale in local fish stores, so it's cool to see that. The common crebensis is a really beautiful fish, and if you put this fish on dark substrate, it's going to look even better. Trap Aquatics has long been known for their discus, and they 
always have discus in stock, or at least every time I've ever been there, they have discus in a number of different sizes. They have medium size. Here are some of the smaller ones, but usually when you go there, there's a few tanks with discus. The Hecoli here are fantastic fish. They get large. They kind of look like geophagus and are absolutely beautiful. Got some green severums, had these in the past. Really fun fish to keep. Really like these panda barbs. I don't keep a lot of barbs, but they had some nice ones here. Here's some Julia Chromis Ornatus. We have these in our 20 gallon long. A lot of people ask where you can get those. These, that's a great looking fish. Shows a lot of color. Of course, we have some more big South and Central Americans. Here's a big red devil. And then they had some really nice peacocks. Really pretty with a lot of color. We see some dragon bloods here, some sunshines, but there was some really nice looking peacocks in these tanks. Also really enjoyed these checkerboard barbs. Again, they had some really interesting barbs. I'm gonna show you a few in a couple minutes that I really enjoyed. A lot of people ask what types of fish eat algae. Florida flag fish do a number on green hair algae. I got three or four of these, put them in a 125 that had a big green hair algae issue, and they solved it within about a month. These are red chromides, just like the banded. I really enjoyed seeing these fish because it's been a while since I've seen the chromides at a fish store. The thick lip sunset grami. This is where we got our centerpiece for our 29 gallon. Loved watching these fish. In fact, the one I think on the bottom right, this one right here is the one that is in our 29 gallon. African leaf fish cracked me up. This is kind of their game. When they are in a tank, they just plow themselves right into a plant and that's where they call home. And if you like goldfish, they usually have a pretty decent selection here. We've bred a lot of these Neil Ampelagos caudopunctatus in the past. We've got a couple tanks filled with them. This is a very rewarding fish. Now this was cool. This was a marble goby. I almost walked out of here, out of the fish store with this thing, but I held off because I've got plans for a tank that I haven't quite yet fully stocked. The blue tetras that we have in our 55 gallon that we set up, that's these guys right here. And of course they've got some smaller angel fish. They're a very popular fish in the hobby and for a good reason. Love these guys, these are Madagascar rainbows in a big group in a four foot tank. They can be a really good addition. The Von Rios I had, they were more like the wild variety with the black bars. Those are a really interesting Von Rio tetra. These were my favorite barbs in all of the fish store. Really great color, loved the way they were interacting with one another. This is a cool fish. And check this out. This is a fish I had never seen before in real life. I think I had seen pictures of them at one point in a magazine, but these were very interesting looking. Just the way that they kind of prowled around the tank, really cool. I talk often about the lamp eye rasbora for good reason. This, these were little bitty guys, but you can already see the bright blue eyes and that silver body. And when they get larger, we have them in our 12 gallon long. They are just such wonderful fish. And of course, you've got the clown loaches. Those are always a great addition to the proper size tank, of course. This was the other addition to our 29. These are the brilliant green rasboras. I like these quite a bit. And so we got a big group of them for the 29 gallon video we did about a week or so ago. Got the German blue ram. So a couple of different ram varieties here. Really like hatchet fish. So it's always fun seeing these guys. 
They stay pretty much at the top of the tank, which is pretty interesting. So here's the area right by the door. They had a lot of nice looking cichlids. Some, I'm sorry, I don't know the names. Others, these are some Lake Tanganyikan feather fins. They don't come cheap, but they are absolutely a very rewarding fish. I don't know what this fish is called. It was probably one of my favorites. It wasn't for sale. Maybe that's why I kind of zoned out on the name. But this was an absolutely wonderful fish. I'm assuming it's a Lake Tanganyikan fish. I just didn't catch the genus and the species. And we got some little babies. It looks like Judochromus ornatus, but maybe not because they were kind of young. They had these green tetras here that were pretty interesting. And they had a nice selection of freshwater shrimp as well. And of course, along the wall, they had more African cichlids, peacocks. They had some of the predatory African cichlids as well, which was pretty cool. But a lot of nice color in these fish. Now they did have a rather large saltwater selection as well. I didn't show it here because we're a freshwater channel. So I'll show you a couple of ones I thought were really cool. I have no idea what they are, but I figured I'd show them because they were awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are in the area, in the Chicagoland area, Trap Aquatics is definitely a place to check out. I will leave their website in the description below. If you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.